Welcome. I'm going to be showing you how to improve a zero crossing detector that's used in this particular circuit. But first I'll go over the circuit and show why I could use a cleaner, more digital pulse over what I originally had. This circuit has been out for several years, works fine as is. but could stand some improvement. This is a full wave rectification setup back here. This produces a 120 hertz pulsating DC when it's sent through a thousand ohm resistor to the light emitting diode in this optocoupler. Uh, optocoupler, excuse me. The output taken off the collector of the optocoupler is sent to digital pin 2 which is interrupt 0 in the Arduino. This produces a narrow pulse at 120 Hertz with a, peri with a period of approximately 8.33 milliseconds. What is the idea here is I get an interrupt it reads the value of this potentiometer R3. It will calculate a delay based on the reading of R3. Then it will send a firing pulse from digital pin 5 to this optocoupler triax circuit. By delaying the turn on to the optocoupler from 0 to 8.32 milliseconds, I control the intensity of the light bulb or motor speed or whatever. The idea being the longer the delay, less energy will be delivered to the light bulb or whatever other load because Q1 is cut off, is cut off part of the half cycle. Let's see how we can improve this from what we have. Here is the same circuit again, but I've made an, I've added some additional components. Test point one, of course, is your 120 hertz pulsating DC, same thousand ohm resistor, same basic optocoupler, same pull up resistor at test point two, which is the collector of the optocoupler transistor. Now I've added a 7414 Schmidt trigger inverter. At test point three, this will produce a clean, narrow, positive, that is plus five to zero volt pulse. If we invert that again at test point four, it will produce a zero to five volt pulse. This is what it looks like on my uh, digital oscilloscope. This is the original sine wave. This is uh, test point two. You see how the signal is sort of ratty, not the greatest thing for triggering interrupts in a microcontroller. Test point three, of course, here we have mostly a positive going output that goes low for a few for probably not very long, uh, maybe a mm, half a millisecond or so. Um, then it goes back to high, but it's inverted on test point four. It produces a low to high transition that you can use for interrupts. Maybe you want to use um, count pulses for a digital clock, whatever. That's it. Same circuit, add two 7414 inverters, and you get these nice, clean output pulses. Thanks for listening, and I got a lot more coming your way on this subject. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.